Good evening, everyone. Hello. How's everybody doing tonight? It's all here, babe. No pushing, no shoving. There's plenty of room. It's Monday, September 6th. In the year 2021. Cheryl's Cheryl's hanging in there. Wanna show last week's interviews and say hello to people coming in? Well, we could do that. Okay, Brian's here, so we can get started now. The piece de resistance. Twelve by sixteen. No, I didn't add any green to this, did I? Not me. Amber. I can see an angel fish in this. I don't know if anybody else can see that or not. We have big, beautiful cells. Juicy. We got cells within cells. So tell Kathy why we changed the name of Maria's paint. You tell Kim. Because Maria doesn't own Lake Forest cabins anymore, so we changed the name. So where are we going to stay next time we go see Maria? I don't know. <laughs> Let me think of what Susan. August 3rd. Last month. Is Maria here? Yes, she is. So, Maria, where are we going to stay next time we come see you? <laughs> Brian said in her garage. Which one did you do next? The. Would you like to say about this? You got green in this one too. Yeah, a lot more popped up after it started drying. 14 by 14. Yes. Hi, Mac. Is it is that cousin Victoria? It is. We're going to stay in Brian's shed when we go visit him. Did you see that? Yeah, so. As long as it's not the basement. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a bad joke. <laughs> Mac 
Megan, we just came out with three new colors not too long ago. It won't be for a bit yet before we have more. Megan wants more colors. So then I did this spectacular diptych. It is very pretty. With a flip and drag. Megan wants more pinks and purples. We have plenty of purples. <laughs> Pink's not a popular seller either. So what do you think? Do you think you're going to resin this or? I probably will. Now, what would be really unique is if I resin it. Yeah, I can't see your hair here. I'm just doing resin. <laughs> if you trip over something, it's not my fault. Just let you know that. And then there's, what is this, 16? Yes. Ring pour. Gold got kind of lost except for a couple. I like that it's just hinting in certain areas, though. It's not overwhelming. We just need to put some paint paint on the canvas. Not that time yet. So I hope everybody enjoyed their day off on Labor Day. Hopefully you didn't have to work today. Some people do, unfortunately. I did. sleeping in this morning. Anybody ever want to have a camera in one of their dreams? I'm not going to tell you about my dream last night. I told Christina about it. And she wanted to know what I was drinking last night. But I have not, Catherine.
It's okay, Sue. So we're in the process of revamping again. I'm not a revamping. I'll let you do that. Uh -oh. Well, I'm choosing colors. I can't do two things at once. Okay. So we have decided, well, I have decided Alan was okay with it. <laughs> there we go. We don't use our dining room. Maybe for one, one dinner a year, maybe, maybe two. So I talked to him about putting the paint business in there and the paint mixing process in there just to free up some room out here so I can move some more racks around. But he went today and got me my piece of linoleum to cover the hardwood floor. That we just put in about three years ago. Yeah. So I don't want to ruin it. But it's much easier, too, for deliveries because the deliveries are on the front porch. And I can just pull them in right into the dining room and I don't have to lug them all the way out here. But um, it's a way for me to separate business from pleasure of painting out here and not be so stressed out. Um, a lot of times I come out here with the intentions to paint and then I see a jug that's partway empty and I want to mix paint. So... I can uh, separate the two. So I'll have certain days that I mix paint and certain days that I do my own painting thing out here. And hopefully I'll have more room for drying, the drying process. So I think it'll work out. I hope it's a good plan, Shelly. I hope I'm not going to regret it. I ordered a table today, so I don't have to pull one of these tables out. But it'll free up two huge racks, actually two and a half huge racks. And um, the cart that I keep the jugs on and a chair and... <laughs> Yeah, just buy a bigger house would be great. Who's who said that? Vicky. <laughs> yeah, if I if I had a bigger house, I would have a designated area for a studio and for a business. To that's just up separate. That's just Vicky wants to move in with us. Oh, is that why? That's why. Oh. Yeah, and if I don't like it, I can just Pull it all back out here and pull up the linoleum and put my dining room table back. That's all. Um, I have gates up, Susan, so I don't think she'll bother me too much. But I don't mind if she comes in there while I'm mixing paint. That's not going to be a big deal. She's out here while I'm doing it. So That's true, Brian. My boxes are getting full. <laughs> I can't build another garage because the art shed is there. So it's all right. It'll work out. Always move the art shed. To, uh, and you know, someday it. I want to retire, guys. You know, it's not like I want to do this for the next 20 years. So yeah, you do. Not making paint, no. Well, what am I going to do when I retire? You're going to be stirring. That's for sure. Stirring. <laughs> stirring. I'm going to be golfing. In Montana. I'm not moving to Montana, so you go to Montana and I'll have an extra whole room. How do you figure? Because I'll just sleep in the, on the couch and I'll take over the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I'll always want to paint, but I won't want to always mix paint. She's talking to Brian.
This one has been used before. This is a gadget that was... Those are the dessert cups that Fiona uses for her uh, reverse flower dips. Well, actually, that's not the correct one. That's a different one. I was thinking you need to put a couple holes in the center of that. What, in the center of that cup? Yeah. I think it might crack. We'll have to do that another time. Brian, get on that. Montana's beautiful, but I've gotten so used to not having a winter that I don't think I could handle it again. We went to visit my mom one time in March and I froze. And when we went to pick Ellie up in November, I froze. My blood's too thin now. <laughs> Okay. Color choices. Oh boy. She's she's cringing well, already. I, well, my, honey, I would not put that black next to that red because that red dries pretty dark. So you might want to switch. How's that? That's fine. You're making a mess though. Well, that's what I do. That's what I do. That's how I roll. We have a hole upstairs that's not finished. I mean, but I don't want to lug stuff upstairs either. And then we can put an elevator in. Where are you going to put that? Out here in the in the studio to go up? <laughs> think outside the box. If I had a box, I would think about it. So the color choices. Let's get to the pink. These are all Porage Passy paints. Barn Red Shimmer. Silver Lake Metallic. Bubblegum Shimmer. I can't. Black Ice Metallic. Frostbit pink iridescent pearl. Their rooms are too small, Shell. Jacob's um, room used to be my jewelry studio that I had for all of, what, three months? <laughs> they always come back. So what are you doing? I'm just going to wait and see. Well, you should at least give them a heads up of what you're doing. What's your plan? Oh, you don't have a plan. I have a plan. I always have a plan. I'm a planner. I think you should use a little more pink. Because that black's going to eat it. Okay. So I was going to go with a white base in the center, and I thought, you know what? First of all, we don't have much white base left. So I'm doing a flip cup. Frostbit pink is one of the winter colors from two years ago that we discontinued. We're still using it up. <laughs> I had to quit making those because I was having a hard time getting the mica for that. Shimmer. You have a lot of paint in that cup to be the center of that flower. I'm just saying. You were telling me I didn't have enough paint. Well, I didn't know what you were doing because you didn't tell me. Because it was a secret. Ice metallic. Frost bit pink. I like that burn red in there separating. That's kind of cool. Let's 
Let's go another round. I'm going to need more than that. Oh, I know. It is a secret plan. Because I don't think he knows what he's doing either. <laughs> he flies by the seat of his pants. Shimmer. Yes, we are missing Linda tonight. Black ice metallic. And frostbit pink. Need two more rounds to get that taken care of. I'm glad you have the black in there, though. It does separate it. Hi, Lori. Now, oh, there are Brian's at five more rounds. <laughs> and then spin it all over the floor, like Brian does. <laughs> Was this pick on Brian night? No. Oh wait, that's every Monday night. Hey Brian, remind me in about twenty minutes. I got to flip a load. Twenty minutes. What cycle did you put them on? <laughs> Get the dishes done. Did you have any dishes? You barbecued. I did have dishes. Barbecued chicken and baked potatoes. How do you have dishes? I had, I'm not going to bore everybody with the details, but I had dishes. One more round. Sorry, guys, I'm concentrating. I was wondering where that yeah. smoke was coming from. <laughs> you got jokes tonight. You got funny joke t shirts tonight. a square canvas, babe. Or are you planning on making it abstract? I'm really worried about the cup underneath. You mean the mini pour you put in there? See, I'm not worried about that. Do you want to tell them what you did to me last night? What did I do to you when last I night? When I asked you for a hug. <laughs> so you you guys know how I have trouble breathing, right? Because of my back. So last night I was like really stiff and I said, give me a hug. She comes out to the kitchen with her arms extended. 
<laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> so he squeezed me and something popped next to my breastbone. And it was painful. <laughs> but you know what? I can breathe today. <laughs> So maybe something's out of whack. I'm thinking it's a rib. Uh, when I used to go to the chiropractor, she always told me my ninth rib was out of whack. So when I go to the doctor and on the 22nd, I'm going to mention it to him. Well, at least now I know when I can't breathe, I'm just going to tell him, Alan, squeeze me. <laughs> Not hug me. Instead of rub my back, squeeze me. Fix it quicker. Let's just go over the white face. Those colors are pretty together like that. Just so that... As I stretch it, I get a flow and it doesn't fold over. Well, this is an injury from when I used to lift his brother. I was setting him down um, one day on the commode and he pulled me down with him full, full weight all the way down. And I was trying to hold him up and it popped. So that's been what, five years? about five years ago. So that's how long I've been suffering with my back. It comes and goes, it's weird. Do you want a straw to blow the top off of it? He's got a flip cup under there, Bri. So it's gonna be a, a mix. You need a haircut, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to push your hair back to blow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I didn't want to drop I'll have to do a video of cutting your hair. <laughs> Careful, you don't want all that black in there. Like. <laughs> uh oh. The question is. I don't think you can stretch it with it on there unless you hold it down with your thumbs. Go back and forth. Like this. And all the other way feeling. <laughs> I think you're I ain't got that, that big of fingers. Your fingers are that long. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if it's a... do it makes you feel comfortable. I want to see what's underneath there. Go for it. You don't want to do anything with any of this first. Not yet. Okay. We are, Monica. Ooh. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I know you are, but I'm really not. But see, there's so much paint there when you tilt, it's going to go over the top of your petals. So you kind of have to stretch it out slowly, side to side and front to back. So it all flows the same. That's better. It's moving with it now.
What was that? Oh, I thought I heard you make a. I did. I said, What's that story? The uh, slow and steady wins the race. On my peripheral vision, I can see the comets are flying across the screen. Comets? <laughs> but they're not talking about me. That's good. You just got to try things and they don't always work out. But then again, sometimes you have happy little accidents. Okay, you're so spoken like Bob Ross. Michelle. What's that? Roll the marble. I want to see him towards that middle before he does
my God, you're so meticulous. That's not what you were calling me earlier today. That's true. You're chanting Marvel, Alan. <laughs> Mom says, do a little ring pour in the middle and keep tilting. What's that? Sure. You like that weight there? I don't mind that. I don't like that. This yeah. here? No, the other one. This? No. I don't mind by your left hand. Yeah, right here. Oh, the other side is hard. I forgot your back legs. This one. It's your painting, honey. Give me one. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about that negative space there either. Seeing so many things in there. <laughs> ET, Grim Reapers, and Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> Susan said it's a fat crab. A what? A fat crab. It does look like a crab now that she said that. Yeah, that's what I was going for. alien head you know brian you weren't in my dream so alien head dreams about aliens they did not interrupt monday night live though oh. i can say that You know, I can almost see. It's even got a mouth. Yeah, right here. <laughs> it's got a five o'clock shadow. It's 
got really long hair and needs a haircut. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave it. I think that is truly an abstract. I have to let me embellish that one. Senior crab. Off to the driver. Spongebob. <laughs> I wasn't sure I could say that name. What? Spongebob. The main reason I chose those colors is because someone was asking about pink earlier. I was expecting it to be a little muddier than it was, but it really wasn't. I wasn't really surprised. Yes, Allie's video was very squeaky. <laughs> She's not spoiled at all, is she? She had a good birthday. She was tired last night. But she's only carrying one octopus around the house today, a pink one. So she's not uh, freaking out with all the new toys. She did not like her pup cakes. She liked the frosting. The um, mashed potato, take mashed potatoes, put yogurt in them and some honey. She did like that. Now, I like the pup cakes. Ellen ate some today without frosting on them. <laughs> we split one. What? I said we split one. I said we split one. I didn't check outside, shall I saw the um, Amazon truck come. I didn't see it. Jake hasn't been out there either. Unless it, they, put, uh, they can't put it in the mail. No. We'll check when we're done. So, so was that her actual birthday? Yes. Yes, it was. Shelly says it was at the door. We'll go get it. Fat challenge. <laughs> well, she's not here now, so she can't open it. No, but she can have to. After, oh, I don't know. Maybe she can have it after the live. <laughs> or we'll save it for tomorrow. 
I know I love when Amazon sends me the pictures, but then I'm like, oh, I gotta go get that box. He went. He probably has to flip the towels anyways. We were a little lazy on laundry this weekend. So now we're hurrying to get it done. I just want to tell you guys, I have never boxed so much paint as I did today. I was packing orders all day. Brian. <laughs> but I had five Etsy orders, and I had four other orders, and then I had another order come in last minute. Oh, lots of them. Okay, so I want to use up some old paint again off the paint wall that we're trying to get rid of here. Not get rid of, but I may throw a few of our regular colors in. And you know, first day of fall today, isn't it? So we're going to use Lucas Naples Yellow, Lucas Raw Sienna, it's a pretty color. Let's put a crimson in there. Uh oh, he's got more than one Shelly. Now, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> I think that's Ms. Ellie. Uh, can I open it on camera, Shell? Somebody brought it in. And didn't tell you. Jake probably did. Oh my goodness. How cute. Air treats. She loved those. That was the one thing she ate off the cupcake yesterday was the doggy treat and the frosting. That was it. Thank you, Miss Shelly. Thank you, Aunt Shelly. <laughs> so if you guys saw her little tiara on her head yesterday, that was from Aunt Maria that she bought her a long time ago. And she actually wore it for quite a while. She did. She wore it till it fell out. Yes, cake. <laughs> All right, back to colors. I think oh, I red, orange, and yellow. What is it with you and red, orange, and I'm using old paints. So I'm going to put a yellow deep in there, too, to pop that sienna. Marie's so she's got a rhinestone necklace too. Yes, she does. She wears that occasionally. Tell, tell them about when you tried to take the dress off her last. Oh, she had a fit. She wanted to wear that dress to bed. She doesn't like taking her dresses off. She loves her dresses. Because I always tell her she's such a pretty girl. <laughs> All right. Burnt Sienna and Brown. Shelly, she bought that dress like what, four or five months ago? I think I bought it in April. It was one of our pet co adventures. All right. And I'm going to use black and white. 
to just to separate colors. She's got what eight dresses now. She won't be wearing a birthday dress again until next year. So, so what are you doing with all those reds? They're not reds. They're browns, Bri. Bri. All right. Three cups. So I'm gonna take tops off because I'm gonna mismatch here. Seriously, she should make Ellie something. What what would you get Ellie? What would you get a dog that has everything that she needs? Well, I did order her another car seat, which is hilarious. Sarah wants to make something for it. I got her a car seat that goes between us and the car. It's just like a little one that you can fasten her in so she can't get on his lap because she's always on his lap. Sarah makes doggy bandanas. She's, she wears um, scarves and... Uh, let's see. I have these boho hats that you pull your ponytail through. She wears those around her neck. She thinks those are cool. That doggy video was the bomb. She's a silly puppy. All right, I'm going to put the burnt sienna next to that Naples yellow. I think her parents are silly. Yeah, I am. Okay, so let's go, let me put a touch of gold in there, or should I go copper? I think I'll go copper. Then I'm going to go with the burnt umber. So I want something dark against it. And let's put some cat yellow deep on that. Some crimson. I don't want to put white there. I may not use white now that I'm looking at it. We'll see. I really like this raw sienna. It's a pretty color. You may have to make one of these. Hello, Andrew from Lockdown, Sydney. Hi, Andrew. I love that sound. Andrew said he got his flow trial today. Isn't there a little bit of news you want to share? Oh, yeah. That? Flow trial's not going to be available in Europe anymore. So they can sell what they have, clear out their stock, but no more shipments into Europe. Some type of chemical that's in it, it's not allowed anymore. You, it's very, very, getting very, very uh, hard on chemical imports. Yeah. Well, it's like California, same way. That was the one that went on there. Uh 
I'm figuring it out. Hello, Ray. British Columbia, Canada. This is your first Monday Night Live with us. Welcome. All right, so all these paints have silicone, so we will get cells. I was going to tell you about that last night. I forgot. So, oh, me likey. I'm putting a little, little ribbony stuff in there just to give it little character when we tilt. This is probably going to get tilted off, so. <laughs> Colorful colon. Gee, thanks, Beth. <laughs> so nice of you to notice. <laughs> Save some of it. We have enough paint to stretch, so we're good. There's some bubbles. All right, let's stretch it out. Marble. I'm gonna put a marble somewhere, Brian. <laughs> I already see lots of things that I want to keep, so. Always taking that paint together. I know it's me to take care of you. Do you need a hug? Uh, and a bug in my painting. Do you see that? Where did he come from? Uh oh. I killed that. Friends get yelled at. Who's yelling at him? Doris? Wow. Well, it's how I get my ribbons to touch each other. Because they don't like overlap when I'm pouring those ribbons out. So I'd like to wiggle it just a little bit to get it moving. Because you want your paint all in one spot. When you do ribbons like that, you have to get that paint flowing together. Which is the reason for your jiggle. Right. So I jiggle with my middle. So you can see all my paints over here. Still be here, Julie. Go make your dinner. Just gonna put it on the big screen. <laughs> I 
I like that crimson. Right, Julie. She's not believing that she. Just oh, I got a flip below. Brian. He didn't remind you. He didn't remind me. So I want to take that off now that I see it there. I really like that spot above it. Wait a minute. Maybe I can save it. I like this here, but I don't like that. <coughs> so I'm going to swipe it. Let me grab from this black. And it's gone. And it's gone. It looks like a cool animal print. All right, let's bring it back. All right, now I want a torch where I swiped. See if we get some more color up through that. Here they come. I love the middle. The cells are really pretty. Freaking awesome. Look at that middle. Let me pull it up. It's kind of a bloomy cell. Hello, Linda. Welcome to the show. I think we're good for movement. I do see a couple of spots. I don't know if they're bubbles. I want to pop those. Michelle says she's in love. Yeah, There's definitely a lot to look at. I like busy paintings. I like color. Welcome, Skittles. I like this stripe here like this. Um, let's see if I can move that down just a smidge. Let's see if it moves. Asian, Asian dragon. It's not good. Should I swipe that spot? Or should I leave it? Sixteen inch, Maria. Leave it. Okay, I'll leave it. I can do that. One final torch. They want to start bidding already. And the cups are pretty. And the cups. All right, I'm gonna move it. One final look. Okay, I'm gonna get everything out of your way. That 
that's where I swiped it. You'll see it dry next week. If you come back. I mean, if I come back. <laughs> we got an opening bid from Doris, $50. <laughs> <laughs> Doris, you haven't even seen it dry yet. Yes, we always wait oh, till they're dry. Catherine's at 60 <laughs> My goodness. You, you need to do another thing. I should leave these colors out and have you do one. I don't think so. <laughs> chicken. He's Doris chicken. 70, Catherine, 80. Oh, come on. Ladies. You know how to get a hold of me. Have an email. Doris at 85. Catherine's at a hundred. <laughs> I'll leave that bit open. Cheryl's at one ten. Do any of you guys yes. watch? Sorry, two hundred. Sorry. Do any of you guys watch Ten Hundred on YouTube? You had a thousand. So he's making these um, playing cards. And he designed every single one of the cards. He's been working on it for like, I think it's been the past seven videos. And I love watching him. He's funny. His name is Ten Hundred. T E N Hundred. And he started a um, a backer thing to buy these cards. Like you can sponsor, like. If you pay sixteen fifty, you get a deck of cards. So he started this Friday. He's over. He's almost at one million five hundred thousand dollars worth of people ordering those cards. He deserves every single penny of that, though. He worked so hard on those cards, and they just had a baby, so. He never thought. He thought, oh, I'll make $10,000. You know, he didn't take anything off it. One over a million dollars. It's crazy. Um, He does a lot of anime, Bri. You might like to watch him, actually. <coughs> it's T-E-N. 100. So if you guys check him out, he's really fun to watch. He's silly. He's, you know, he's more for younger people, but I love watching him because he's very talented. He does a lot of murals. And... Now, they didn't bid. They're buying. Like, there's certain packages you can buy. It starts at, I think, $16.50. goes all the way up to $750, different packages that he has. Or you'll get signed prints or something, you know. You get this big bunch of stuff for $750. So, yeah, it was crazy. I almost cried because when I first watched him, he was at $85,000. And I just watched it shoot up. It was crazy. Thank All right. you, Yvonne. Thank you, Michelle. Alan? Yes? Your turn. Oh. Do I have to bang a gong? Pick me a number, please. Here's paper right here on let me get a prize. <laughs> I didn't do it. Well, that box is bad by now. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It was just the halo. That ain't plugged in. So tonight's giveaway is for a jar of 2021 Beach Retreat. Alan's giving, getting me a number. So refresh while we're waiting. So you'll be in time with us. Make sure you're on live chat. Thank you everyone for the donations. I'm sorry I missed them. I was yakking. I got 
Okay. I was going to do knockoff, but you know what? I got one jar left. I have to refill. Doesn't mean I'm out of it. So. so we've got a couple new people here, so why don't you explain? Yes, if you bit. have not played with us before, um, we pick a number between 1 and 50 after I say go. And if it's the number that you guess, you're a winner. If you live inside the U.S., we pay for the shipping. If you live outside of the U.S., you pay for the shipping. If you've won in the last 30 days, you can't play. <laughs> that sounds terrible. You can't play. Let's just be fair to everybody. Everybody have a good chance of winning. Yeah, we want everybody to have a chance to win a prize because these guys are here every Monday night. It's only fair. All right, are we ready? I see people saying they're back. All right, guys, on your mark, get set, go. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here come the numbers. Such a lag. winner yet. Oh, they're going really fast now. Slow down, guys. Slow down. Don't time yourselves out. There it is. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. I want you to go all the way back to the beginning, though, because I don't want to, I'm going to make sure we didn't miss any. So stop beginning? for now, guys. Stop. For the beginning. Yeah, as well as far as you can go. They were just flying across. Yeah, those the numbers were flying after you guys all started playing. So we're just double checking to make sure we didn't miss one before that. Huh? I, did, I thought we did too. You pushed stop before we even called it. Right there, Cecilia. Cecilia yeah. Jacobs, you are our winner, honey. Number 16. A lot of lagging tonight, yep. Yeah. Congrats, Cecilia. I do, Cecilia, and your address. I do the call when you cover the bottom top. Yeah, but that's not what
I feel like I was just slammed by Maria. Well, she knows it takes you a bit to pick your colors, so she's going to go and pick some. Bye, Michelle. Happy painting. Good night, Jan. Thank you for stopping in. Try something. Could be disastrous. No, it won't be because that's going to get a dimension. So. Do you know what I'm doing? When Alan goes to Ollie's, he always buys candy. <laughs> so he bought me like, what was it, six bags? So, uh, eight. You guys remember these? Warhound candy? <laughs> Spell that for the people that. H O R E. Still pronounce the same. So I remember these as a kid. My mom used to buy them. Yeah, Glory, right? My mom loved them too. I have not opened them because I'm like, well, <laughs> I think I'll eat the licorice ones first because I love licorice, but we'll see. I thought you were going to save those for your mom. These? No, the, the licorice. licorice. Well, I could eat the wild cherry. So I just thought it was funny because I've not seen this candy in like ages. It's made with natural whorehound herb tea, brewed and steeped in copper kettles to enhance the whorehound flavor. It's just hard candy. Should be interesting. They have sassafras ones too. I didn't see any of those. Mm. I got the four flavors that they have. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to remember, Gloria. I don't think they smell very good. I love black licorice. Probably because that's all my mother ever ate. Just putting down my white base. Eight by twenty, correct? Correct, the mundo. Where'd you get it from down there? Yeah. Yes. Correct, the mundo. <coughs> Brian, give us a countdown yet? Yeah. 
250 days. So. Yeah, it's a good thing nobody can see what I'm doing as far as clothing tonight because I don't have my apron on. I know, and you have clothes on tonight. And I got white paint on my shirt. Oh, oh, you yell at me. <laughs> it's okay, I'm doing laundry, so. I love Sambuca. <laughs> oh, when you talk about not as not as much as tequila though. But I used to drink Sambuca a lot. We used to call it motor oil. She really likes peach snaps. No, I don't. Normally, Kathy has his white undershirt on and his pajama bottoms and an apron. Because he goes right to bed. He goes in, washes up, tonight. and goes to bed. Can't tonight. Color choices. And I'm going with no silicone. I'm going to do a flip and drag. No silicone. That's a big problem. Denim blue, metallic, and S. Because most of the time we do flip and drags, we do it with silicone. I want to see what's going to happen. Borash Posse, purple shimmer. Lamp black, no silicone. It's going to be a dark, dark painting. I have not, Cecilia. This one is, it's not labeled, it's teal. That's beach retreat. Beach retreat? Yeah. Purple raspberry. Okay. Ready, set. I did not spray my cup either, because I want to see what we get. Again, with no silicone. You'll get some density cells from the hand.
not worried about this white spot here because I'm going to pour that off. Yeah, who wants to know what your favorite liquid? <laughs> he doesn't have one. Hair there, and it was not mine. Eddie's? Hmm? Was it Eddie's? No. It was Stretch it a little. Side which, side. which section? Towards you. You want the white to come up over the edge. That way, that it doesn't have so much paint to push it back when you go the other way. Teaching moment. No, oh, I see what you're talking about. Huh? The base. So you want that white to go over the edge. So when he comes back the other way, it doesn't push all the color back to the middle. But you've got color over the edge. So that you've got a little color over the edge. But... So now you're going to do the same thing towards this way and get most of the white off and then bring it back to your center. So I went a little too far here and here. But that's okay. You can always like scrape that off and just put a little white there if you don't like it over the edge. And this here, I don't know. 
crazy about that either. And I'm not crazy about that little jagged line that showed up there. Weird that to get south of it. <laughs> Just minor little splash on the white paint. White and black will give you a few cells. Are you going to modify your flip and drag? One swoop. You can pour white right there and tilt and then go right over. I'm not here where he scraped and don't have any paint. What do I do with that? Well, you can erase it with your finger. I have an eraser on my finger? Yeah. But now listen, go the long way so you get it all in one shot. Are you tightening your eraser? <laughs> no, the long way, honey. You want to take that whole thing off, you're going to touch it and take it off. Get it that way. No, you're not going to scrape it. Let me demonstrate, but I'm not going to do it. Put your finger there and pick it back up. Don't, and don't dwell. Just pick it up. There you go. It's gone. I learned something new tonight. Holy cow.
What are you chuckling about over there? Julie's all in now. She's taking a bite and then she's typing. See my frog? Senior frog. Not the same way you don't have to is it? It isn't. It's not done yet. Actually, anybody see the penguin right in the center? They're all talking about group, but you will get Deanne, we're doing that sale October 17th.
I don't know. What do you think? Cut it right here. get a different effect without the silicon. It's not as much fun as it. Well, it is to a certain extent. I think you have more control when you don't have the silicone. You don't have as many heavy slicing color, right? Yeah. May happy accidents. Use the same colors and do one with silicone. You could do that. Are they in order? Do they lined up? It's the drying rack. Well, I'm going to use some silicone, but yeah, leave this like a long. 8 by 20? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, these are Practica, right? From Jerry's. Thank you, Sue. All right. So that was the order. You, you went this way, right? Down on purple, black. That way? I'm sorry, honey. You went this way? Yes. Did you use all the white base? I did. I mean, it was, I used the no silicone in the jug. Do we not have any white base? No. But I used that up here, hon. I think this is white base. I stuck it on the floor because it was pretty empty. We'll find out. <laughs> Catherine just knighted me. She called you, sir. She called me, sir. Do you feel old? Well, they say yes, sir, to you at work all the time, don't they? I'm going to have to use a little bit of this on the edges because I'm not going to have enough. Well, that's good news from Cecilia. She said she heard that Happy Lobby is now shipping to Canada. 
Awesome. Can't probably have over there too. Michaels has got their 40% off coupons back, too. That's a bad thing for me. <laughs> well, you can tell Michaels we are not buying a new house. Just tell him that. Just tell him that, huh? Yes, I will. I said he couldn't find any 8x20s. I told him they're Jerry's. All right. I'm not going to spray the cup, though. Well, I better, because then that's not a true test. You know, she wishes Happy Lab would bring back their 40% off coupon. Yeah. They won't. But they have good sales, so. Just have to time it right. They get you to shop there every week, though. Because, like, one week the wood stuff will be on sale, and then the next week the canvas will be on sale. So you can never, like, buy it all at one time. All right. Let me mix a little tiny bit of this in here, the drop of silicone. So is it? There should be a challenge. What do you think? People showing pictures of their studios? Um, we did that the other night. Yeah, I know, but I think you should expand it. <laughs> so me and Mona and Brian and Shelly and Darnell showed each other our studios. Yes, we are all a hot mess. <laughs> She's only speaking for herself. You did blue first, correct? I did exactly, yes, the blue first, the denim first. Okay. Catherine says she just bought some canvases from HomeSense. So they're reasonable. Okay, Crash Posse Purple. Yeah, Mona probably got a lot done this week. She was on a roll the other night. And purple raspberry. Did you swirl the cup? I did not. Okay. All right. So I always flip in the middle. Do I have to go on the end like you did? You can do whatever you want. It's your hot mess. How's that? Okay. to get my stuff back over here where it belongs. I'm always working on this table, mixing paint. It's so nice to not have to do that anymore. Wiggle, wiggle. So, so what were the first two colors? Denim. And, I don't know, Alan, tell me. Brush pass the purple. Pass purple. Like 
this right here. Okay, I'm going to go this way first because I want to get a little of that blasé off of there. Yep. Flip and drag. Goodness. I didn't do it. I did it. So I bought this really cool um, foot pedal that I'm going to plug my hair dryer in. So when I'm doing like Dutch pours or blooms, I can control the speed of the dryer. I put it in my Amazon shop. Yeah. You almost got a penguin for speed. But I don't want to, like, push the recommendation until I try it. But if anybody was interested, it's there. Cheeks up. <laughs> Brian, you want to know you have a gas pedal for your hair dryer? Yeah. Speed control. Says you have a nun in yours. I have a nun. <laughs> Sister Mary Beth. Looks like the guy from Scream. I'm going to fix that though. I'm just grabbing those edges of color. I gotta get, oh my gosh, I made his face bigger. Just need something in there somewhere. A packet of color. I agree, it would be interesting to see these. Side by side next Monday. I'm de looping. Really, so she's not finding the pedal in the Amazon shop. I thought I put it in there. What'd you do with that little white box? Oh, it's right, it's under the bench. I'll show you guys. 
I didn't even open the box yet. Let me torch that real quick. Get close up. So that's with silicone, same colors. A little different than that one because you started from the center. I mixed the white through. You didn't mix the white through. Let me move this and show you guys that petal. This can also be used for alcohol inks. If you guys want to start doing alcohol inks. I can see it. No. Oh. Put it way on the bottom. So it's called Fordham. They're not, they're not cheap. But you can control the air. You know, some dryers have a low and some have a high, and that's it's either too low or it's too high. So what you would do is just plug your hair dryer into here and use the pedal to control the air. So you definitely want to do some practicing. Um before you like do it the first time on a good piece. So I would probably just like take a, um, a 12 by 12 ceramic tile, throw some paint on there. Like you're gonna do a Dutch pour, just try it to get the feel of it and then learn to control it. The other thing too is remembering not to shut your dryer off because the whole point of having this is to keep your um, dryer on while you're doing your piece so you don't get paint on your dryer. So yeah. So I'll put this in the Amazon shop. Because the one I got was a little cheaper than the one that I saw. So I will grab that for you. But we're going to wrap it up. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> I'm right here. And we will see you guys next week. Any, anything to talk about coming up? No, we have nothing coming up this week. So, um, just our sponsor giveaway October 1st and Mom's Blankets on the 17th of October and our functional art auction first weekend in November. I haven't decided if we're doing Saturday or Sunday yet. So, but, and Jerry's. That's in November. We'll talk about that later. But thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Have a great evening. Bye now.